So what we're going to show you now is how to um, um, move a project from college back to home and vice versa. Now the problem is with is that it will the where where the database is is hard coded into one of the configuration files, and also the server explorer will just look in the last place it was pointed to. So open up your project that you've just brought home. This is an example of a student's. Um, so if you go to server explorer go to view server explorer and you'll see it's empty that will only be the case if you've never connected to a database before so now right click add connection and then find where it is now be careful that you look in the right place mine's in the desktop I'm just going to go there and then show it's in test fit student lates and then double click on the database now be careful you've got multiple versions you're choosing the right one because you want the server explorer to point to the same database as as the one that we're going to tell the program to save to. So first thing we need to do is then copy that full path there, including the file name. And click OK, and then you should see in data connections that in a minute you can expand that and you should see all the tables. The next thing to do is go to Solution Explorer, double click on app.config, and in there you will see that it's looking in the wrong place. It's looking on the sandbox. So start selecting best thing to do is shift right arrow making sure you don't over select stuff here so I've got the full path and the, and the file and then just paste over the top of that okay just double check to make sure you haven't done that wrong yeah so that looks alright so I'm gonna close that now it'll ask me to save it which is yes right next thing to do is just test it now if you're using a college machine it will, won't work so you have to restart Visual Studio but it should work on this one Okay, so there we go. It's accessed the database. Okay, um, you can see these names that our students have used. Now, the next thing to do will be just to confirm that that is the same data that you can see in the tables here, because sometimes you you might have a database that is looking at is looking at the wrong database. So just double check to see if that is the same data. So oh, show table data and student. You should find they're the same. If they're different then your server explorer is probably pointing or one of the others pointing to the wrong database so that's why we keep it in the same folder as the um, program so that's the same that's fine now just one more thing if you've if you've opened this up from the start and you've used the database before you will already see that in server explorer you will have a, f a file there so if you just bought the database home you'll see that that doesn't necessarily mean it's pointing at the right one so just best thing to do is modify connection check that you'll need to copy that anyway so you'll need to select that and copy that and then do the app.config that you did earlier but it's fairly straightforward and just just run it to make sure it works and that is it